So after installing the multiversal vehicle controller in your Unity editor, all you want to do is go to Tools, Multiversal Vehicle Controller, and Edit Settings. Uh, here, this window is going to appear. I'm going to dock it here. Uh, you want to go and check all these different tabs, of course. But first, uh, we're going to go to Packages. Here, a list of packages is going to appear, depending on the renderer pipeline you're using. I'm using High Definition Render Pipeline, which is uh, HDRP for short. Here are all the different uh, render pipelines you can find that the Multiversal Vacant Controller support. I'm going to go with this, and here you can find a getting started demo package now this package is mainly made to give you some examples and some assets that you can use along with the multiversal vehicle controller so I'm going to click download it's about uh, 5500 uh, 5, sorry megabytes uh, I'm going to click continue and wait for it to download. So after everything is done, we're going to get this warning message, uh, which tells you that the MVC settings asset may, may be overridden. So you want to create a backup if you want to just uh, save your old settings if you have if you have ones. So I'm going to click uh, create backup. and click OK. Now the package is going to decompress and uh, its assets are going to be moved into your Unity project. So I'm going to wait for that. So as you can see everything has been done. Uh, so uh, as you can see here a new folder has been created which is the scenes folder. In it you can find a, you can find two scenes, plain test track and duty test track. We're gonna go with the plain test track. You can open it. Then you want to go to the game window. As you can see, a scene, a beautiful scene appears here. I'm gonna save some post processing like the depth of field because I'm going to play mode. As you can see, everything works pretty fine. Uh, I'm going to go and open the stats menu. Uh, the FPS is not that really good because I'm, I have a laptop over here, which is a low range PC, well, and it's not good for an HDRP project like this, you know. Uh, but anyway, uh, the uh, the performance of the scripts are really good. I tested that using the profiler and everything works fine. So I'm gonna launch the car.
Okay, enough playing. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, okay, so in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to set up a vehicle from zero, from A to Z, you know. <laughs> from, uh, and I'm going to go in details with the features of this package, and you'll know everything about it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you later.